Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be delving into what is Rhinic, or better known today as Raymax. To start, Rhinic back in the day, when they were still called Rhinic, was a company commissioned by Nissan to develop racing engines for them in-house. As a brief history of Rhinic, I will just mention a few years and involvements that they were involved with. Let's start from 1986 when the Rhinic team was first formed for the development and racing of the GTR for Group A race participation. Then in 1988, Rhinic has started development of the TB42 engine for the Paris Dakar rally. During the same year, Nissan had outsourced to Rhinic the task of production based race engine development and maintenance as well as starting the development of the RB26 DTT engine for Group A racing. I would also like to mention that it was also Rhinic that developed the RBX GT2 engine that was found in the Nismo 400R for Nismo as Rhinic has already had experience with developing the RB26 engine for Nissan for Group A racing, so naturally, Rhinic was the go to. So, that is just some of the illustrious history of Rhinic, or as they are known today as Raymax. In addition, Raymax still produces some of the period correct Group A pulleys, camshafts, intake kit, and fuel rail for the Group A spec RB26. So, in saying that, most of us in the backyard or enthusiasts who want a piece of Group A period correct parts for own RB26 development projects, then Raymax is the way to go. It is also worth mentioning that they have their own line of exhaust systems for the second generation Skyline GTR chassis, that being the R32, 33, and 34. Skyline GTR chassis respectively. In closing, it is safe to say that Nissan in the world of motorsports won't be what it is today without the involvement of Rhinic or Raymax as they are known by today. And all of the research and development documentation for the RB26 specifically from the Group A era is shared between Nismo and Rhinic as some of the Group A R32 GTRs are still being looked after by Nismo as part of their heritage collection and they do sometimes do demo runs as a part of the Nismo festival that takes place at Fuji Speedway most of the time. Thank you for watching, if you liked the video please do leave a comment, like and subscribe for more and if you would like to support the channel Links would be down in the description box below.